Supreme Court has now raised the bar for prosecuting former presidents, including Donald Trump, who is now awaiting another trial, possibly during an election year. Fox's Caroline Elliott joining us live from the battleground state of Georgia to hear voter reaction about this landmark decision. Caroline, what can you tell us? Well, Sylvia Terrence, when you ask voters about how they feel about the Supreme Court decision this morning, it largely depends on who they're voting for in November. Trump supporters tell us this is a huge win, but Democrats, not so much. It's not really surprising. It's, uh, it's more of like, it's kind of disappointing if you're convicted for a crime and you're not held accountable to it, anybody, with anybody. Um, so it's just, you know, it's not really a surprise, though, based on the history of how things have worked. <laughs> We talked to voters in Norcross, Georgia today after the Supreme Court decision, and we heard mixed reactions in an area both candidates are focusing on in the 2024 election. In 2020, Trump lost to Biden in the Atlanta suburb, so this area is key to Trump's reelection. And some voters here believe Trump belongs on the campaign trail for now, not the courtroom. Well, I've always felt that the presidency as itself has certain privileges, and whether it's Donald Trump or whoever the president is, I think they're entitled to that. So it'll be interesting to see how this ruling impacts the different you know, cases that he has going on against him now. When you look at the country as a whole, the vast majority believe Donald Trump should be prosecuted. That's according to a Marquette University poll done in May. The poll asked voters, should former President Trump be immune from criminal prosecution for official acts done while in office? 30% said yes, 60% said no, and 10% said I don't know. Trump's campaign posted to Truth Social today calling this landmark decision a big win. But Biden's campaign said this doesn't change the facts. Sylvia, Terrence, 